it's safe to say that Microsoft are putting a lot behind Windows 10. They are spreading it across numerous devices in an effort to create what they are calling the Universal Windows Platform and are basically wanting to make the UWP the platform for ult the ultimate platform for game development for both console and PC as of course we have PCs powered by Windows 10, tablets, smartphones, the upcoming HoloLens and of course after a recent update the Xbox One. Now of course we've got quite a few Xbox One games coming to PC as well as of course some cross connectivity between an Xbox One and PC. It's pretty clear that Microsoft are sticking to their word this time about throwing their weight behind PC gaming. And it seems they definitely have big plans and during the Game Developers Conference which will take place in March, they'll be organising several sessions about their ultimate game development platform. And part of the UWP is the Universal Windows Store which is an attempt to unify all Windows 10 platforms. Now one of the talks that will be happening will be with Chuck Walburn who is Microsoft Software Design Engineer. And he's going to be talking about game development and the UWP and how they're aiming to quote to make UWP the best choice for making games in the future. And the GDC schedule reads, quote, the Universal Windows platform is at the core of our vision for the future of game development. UWP powers games and apps on our most innovative operating systems yet. Windows 10, Windows 10 powers Xbox One consoles, PCs, tablets, phones, and even our upcoming HoloLens device. Come learn from our experts and about how we're pulling out all the stops to make UWP the best choice for making games in the future. A great game developer experience with great performance and cross-platform capabilities. Now earlier in this video I of course mentioned the Universal Windows Store and another GDC conference will be taking place which is about the UWS, the Universal Windows Store and it reads quotes the Xbox and Windows stores delivers huge opportunities and distribution potential for game and app developers. Come learn how we are taking everything we have learned from years of building a successful game marketplace and weaving that into a universal storefront that can deliver your games to every Windows 10 device on the planet plus lighting up innovative new business opportunities that benefit from how you want to sell your games and how customers want to buy them. So yeah, it's clear they've got big plans for their unified gaming ecosystem across multiple devices. If this actually works, well only time will tell. Of course, not to say that they haven't done similar things in the past, but I think this is the first time, or at least the first time in a long time, that they've thrown this much behind it. You know, we've always had, you know, same OS or similar OS on, say, Xbox versus PC, but, you know, we've got cross-platform, and of course it's across phones and HoloLens and blah de blah de blah and basically just trying to get everything in one place where you can buy all your games for all these things and have cross-play between some of them, and obviously not all, and obviously make things easier for developers and people in general. It could work out quite well, or it could fall flat on its face, but it has, at least has potential given that Microsoft are actually supporting the PC platform for the first time in a while. So we'll see, you know, Windows 10, you know, it, your mileage may vary. I probably shouldn't have upgraded when I did, to be honest. I, only, I waited a couple of weeks before upgrading, but apparently that was too soon. So obviously people are account of problems. So they're probably trying to entice more people onto the system and entice more people to come onto Windows 10 for development and utilize the unique features, which of course would be DX12. Of course, we've not seen too many games just yet that are utilizing DX12. So this might be their attempt to help with that as well. Do let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one though, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.